In this demonstration we're going to look at configuring IP version 4. We'll have a look at how we do that through the graphic user interface and also how we can do it through Windows PowerShell. First thing I need to do is just access the network settings for my server. So in order to do that I'll click on my start button, I'll just come to settings, then within settings we'll go for network and internet, and within network and internet we'll scroll this down and we'll just go to our network and sharing centre. Then within our network and sharing centre we'll just come to change adapter settings, and within change adapter settings we'll come to our London network, right click and just go to the properties. So within the properties what we're looking for here is we're just looking for our IP version 4 settings. So we'll highlight IP version 4 and we'll come to properties. So within properties what we can see is we can see the IP address currently set on my machine and all we'll do here is we'll just change this to 111. We've got the subnet mask which will identify the network ID plus the host ID got the default gateway for external access to this network and we've also got our DNS server which will be used for resolving computer names to IP addresses and IP addresses to computer names. Just on our advanced button, if we have a look we can currently see under the IP settings we can see the IP address, the subnet mask, we can see our default gateway as well and also as well down here as well got the metric settings as well for routing purposes. If we go to DNS we can see the DNS server we could append any DNS suffixes at this point here, so for example .datum.com and if we have a look we've also got our Windows Internet Naming Service which generally within most modern networks tends not to be used but this was another way of resolving computer names to IP addresses. So we'll just select Cancel and we'll select OK just to change that IP address, select Close and we'll just close down all of the network settings. Next thing we'll do is we'll just launch up PowerShell. So again, we'll just click on our Start button. And all we're going to do at this point here is come to PowerShell. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll just launch up PowerShell. And we'll run this as administrator. And the first thing we'll do at this point here is just verify that the IP address was changed. In order to do that, we'll just issue the PowerShell commandlet. What we'll do just before we issue the commandlet, we'll just change the font to make it a little bit easier to read make this a little bit bigger, we'll up that to 24 and just select OK and we'll just clear off the screen just to make it a little bit easier to read and then issue the commandlet. And the commandlet I'm going to issue is get hyphen net IP address hyphen interface alias and we're going to do that for the London network. As we can see, it's returned back the information, so if we have a look, the IP address is now indeed 172.16.0.111. Next thing we'll do is we'll remove the IP address, and we'll do that by issuing another commandlet. So we'll just clear the screen off. And we're going to do that by doing the remove hyphen net IP address, hyphen interface alias, London network, hyphen IP address. And if we just scroll this along a bit, that's going to be 172.16.0.111. It's so just asking us if we want to perform this action. Yes, we do. So we'll just hit the Y key. Then it's saying, do you want to confirm this? And we'll say Y again. And then what we'll do is we'll just issue the get hyphen net IP address again, just to make sure that the interface has actually lost its IP address. We'll just clear the screen off and we'll just issue the command again. So again, we're just issuing our get hyphen net IP address, hyphen interface alias London network. As we can see at this point here, we've now got an IP address of 169.254.133.116, which is our automatic IP address assignment. Last thing we'll do is we'll just give it back its original IP address, which was 172.16.0.11. So again, we'll just clear off the screen and just issue the commandlet. And in order to set that IP address, we're going to do a new hyphen net IP address, hyphen interface alias. Again, we're going to do it on our London network. We'll specify the IP address of 172.16.0.11 and we'll specify the subnet mask to be 255.255.255.0 with the prefix length of 24, which means 24 bits used for the network ID in the subnet mask. Then as we can see, we now have our new IP address of 172.16.0.11. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.